All right, now I'm going to place a test order on the site and watch it sink into the ERP system to make sure uh, the order goes in. So basically, I'm in the I'm logged in as a worker into the worker portal. I'm going into the CRM workspace and under customers, um, I'm uh, into accounts. I search for 1989 distribution my test account and then selected contacts. And I'm going to use the contact that I created, John Doe here. I'm going to impersonate a login into uh, the B2B portal. And then I am going to uh, search for a product and add that product to the cart. Then I'm going to go through the checkout process. And uh, you can populate any fields here or create a shipping address if you need to. If there's not one, there is already on this account. Now, one notable here is in order to get the order to, the order to successfully import, um, one key thing is the shipping method that you pick. Uh, there may be some default shipping methods that you've got. There's a, there's a sales order code, which is an ERP code, that has to match uh, on this. So I'm going to take a second and go back to the worker portal, which I've got in this other tab. And I am going to go into my settings workspace. And under shipping, I'm going to shipping methods. And uh, I'm going to look and make sure that I select a method that has a sales order code populated. And it's populated with a valid option inside uh, the ERP system. So in this case, um, UPS second day is a method that's showing uh, for me to select. And uh, if you look, I'm going to go edit this method in SimCloud. Um, this sales order code, this has to exactly syntactically match a ship via code uh, that's in your uh, Sage ERP system. So uh, if I go into sales order entry, for example, uh, uh, to see the ship via code, where I go into ship via right here, if I hit search, you'll see all your ship via codes. So you can see that um, UPS space blue, uh, that syntax does match the shipping code. So it's this column that's something that has to be an exact match. If it doesn't, uh, Sage will not accept the sales order. Uh, and the import will fail. It'll still place in the site. It just won't successfully import in. So that's a, that's a, something you can set up quickly. Um, let me get out of this uh, to make sure that you're you're uh, you're going to import successfully in. Um, so let me go back to the site, knowing that I'm picking my UPS second day error, uh, and then this is my uh, shipment comment. It goes here. I'm going to not mess with a credit card right now. PO123456 here. And then comment goes here. Fix the typo. And then I'm going to place the order and check through my legal. Okay, so now an order number has been placed. That's W100006 uh, in this case that I placed uh, as a bill me order uh, on that customer. So now I'm kicking back in uh, over to Sage. So I have two windows open. And in sales order entry, this will take a minute for it to sync in. And I'll show you a, a, a way you can see uh, the sync uh, validation here. Uh, uh, from the site as well. But I'm going to go search for and then I'm just going to sort by order date. And you can see my X10006. Uh, uh, so we prefix the order with an X here. Uh, that's my order. So we'll take a look at this order. Um, my PO123456 is here. You can see my UPS blue is the ship via code and there's some other stuff that populated. Uh, it's got address data synced in. It's got my one line item, and you can see my fulfillment comment and my shipment comment go here. Uh, there is options to turn those off, uh, but they get passed in as a slash C uh, comment line items on the order. So that order has successfully uh, been synced into the ERP system. Okay, and now I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm back in the worker portal. I'm on that tab, and I'm going to go into the CRM workspace. Under orders and shipments, online orders, I'm just going to show you validation here. All of the orders that are placed online show up here. 
when you go down here to sales orders, this is everything that's synced from Sage, whether it originated online or not. So if you want to see the online orders immediately when they're placed, they go here. They then sync into Sage and everything in Sage syncs back out to sales orders, including the online orders. So it's got to make the round trip before it shows up here. You can see there's a two-step process here going on uh, just for validation. The first step is when the sync tool picks the order up and grabs it out of the website, it's polling every minute or two and saying, is there any new orders? Is there any new orders? If it, if it sees them, it grabs them and pulls them down and then just marks this exported as yes. It then takes the order and pushes it into Sage. And if it's successful, it will come back and report on its success. If it failed, it will come back and report on its failure. And you can view uh, these API logs will show you details uh, on what failed. Um, 